Hello, YouTube. Uh, it is I, the Sarge. I have uh, been watching uh, a couple of YouTube videos lately, uh, especially one by EEV Blog, where he does uh, teardowns of, uh, well, electrical stuff. I thought, hmm, that's not too different from uh, from what I used to do. I used to work at uh, electronic scrap uh, recycling. Uh, it's a little part-time thingy, in between job stuff, you know. And I thought, hmm, well, I'm I'm pretty good at taking things apart. I'm not, however, good at uh, figuring out what the different components and everything is, but uh, I have a much more simple way of doing that. I'm simply going to say, huh, well, this is plastic, this is metal, this is other stuff. And I figure I'm going to weigh it, and I'm going to see what is what. But, first of all, um, the sacrificial lamb of this uh, first little video here, um, I'm not actually going to video the entire thing, but little short segments in between or something like that. I have... Uh, a second-hand shop uh, below my apartment here, so, and uh, one of the things they had was uh, this old thing. It is a Casio uh, Casio Rider CW16. Uh, basically, it is an electric typewriter thingy. But one of the funny things I noticed about this one was that the actual the actual receipt was included with it. And as you can probably see if I can zoom it in, it is purchased in Aarhus. That's good old Denmark. And you can probably not see it from this, but uh, I can tell you how much, but it is purchased in 1st February 1988. I do believe it says. And the actual purchase price at the time uh, was 2348 with an adapter costing 248 and That's in Danish crowns and that's old old school money. So basically they uh, they gave 2596 Danish crowners for this thing. And I gave well <laughs> I get twenty five crowners for it so <laughs> uh yeah well depreciation and whatnot but <laughs> I mean seriously from um <laughs> that it's cheap as hell and I, I did just I did just uh, check it it doesn't work. So and the shop down below did say it's, uh, you know, second-hand stuff, you know. They don't uh, test if it works. They just say, huh, looks operational, let's put it up. And there's no warranty or whatever on it, so if you buy it, it's on your own risk. I knew that. I thought, hey, cheap as hell. Let's try it. Doesn't work. Okay. Tear down. <laughs> Basically, I'm simply going to weigh it, uh, see what it weighs, and then I'm going to disassemble it completely. And plastics and metals and coppers and wires and whatnot. And then I'm going to weigh each individually and see how much is what. Well, that's the plan anyways. Anyhow, stay tuned, more to come. As you can probably see, everything is on this little old scale here, just uh, using a little um, bowl just to make sure that everything hits the scale and this is in grams, it weighs 2 kilos 780 grams or 2780 grams so hopefully once this is torn down and in individual pieces uh, it should combined weigh the same thing. Otherwise, I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> Yucky dokey then. Tear down completed. 
As we can see, we got a bunch of plastics, we got some wires, some metals, including those larger pieces, a bit of cover from one of the smaller one of those that kind of disintegrated in my hands, actually. <laughs> we have a stepping motor, uh, what's left of a display, a tiny bit of aluminium with the actual printer head thingy on it. Uh, this is actually what prints uh, onto the paper apparently. The little thingy. But the rest is on aluminium so hey, who knows, maybe someone can melt it down or something. And two circuit boards, one with, was in the uh, the power adapter with that huge chunk there attached to it and that is actually what is left of the, of the typewriter itself <coughs> why did I have to stand there there and well we got a couple of chips on it some you know capacitors I do believe in this and well, and a chip over there. Zoom you little piece of thingy. If no one hits it from there, it is. Uh, BA9700A. Don't know what the hell that does, but. <laughs> mm. uh, we're gonna see. On the board itself. I don't know what that is, but whatever. And chips over here, definitely noticed that there is one here. If it wants to zoom, it wants to zoom, zoom it, or clarify it, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Huh. Oh well. Uh, this uh, Big one there is an R O H M. It is B U one eight four C W A dash P S. Don't know what that is. Little guy here is an N E C chip. Eight six two six C seven. And a bunch of more coding underneath it. Actually, that one. The big one there says CPU on it, so I'm just guessing that's kind of the brains of the thing. Tiny brain. We have a Toshiba GC531000 AP from Japan. And the other one just about also says Japan on it. Eight seven two two HM six two six four AL SP blah 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking this real serious. <laughs> uh, last chip on the board is a Toshiba from Japan. GD six two three O nine something something. Puka puka. And now it wants to sharpen. Let me get those. It's about the closest we can get, I think. This is on my Samsung Galaxy S3, and I'm holding it, holding it by hand. So, excuse me. <laughs> Underneath the board, we have two chips, and the rest of just soldered. And this one here, if it wants to do it, there it goes, it's an, I don't know what the hell, it's a symbol of some sort, and 7FI HD 4470 blah blah, it's clear enough that you can see what it is, I don't know what it is, but, <laughs> actually, 
And looking at where the uh, where the circuit board lines are going, I'd say that was to the display. There was a little uh, glass uh, LED display thing, or LCD, I'd say. But uh, when I tried to break the two pieces apart, well, something had to give, and apparently it wasn't the flat cable. A very big flat one that uh, was connected to it and wasn't the one I was breaking, no <laughs> the, the LCD display just cracked into a million pieces and uh, last chip is an NEC chip from Japan mm, D6501 to G079 something something yeah it's about as much fun as that can be. My brain just kind of went into like, um, <laughs> oh, I'm back at work at the good old days. Let's tear it down and everything just like <laughs> before I kind of looked around it. Well, there was the pieces. <laughs> the uh, transformer of the power. Not really much to show there. Got some numbers on it, but besides that, so mad. Yeah, I need myself a professional camera. It says one one point three zero eight three, and over there it says zero zero five dash five one. But apparently, it doesn't want to. Even who wants to zoom it. Yeah. Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Gotta coax it a little bit. Then that's what that says. A single one of those standing upright. Well, at least they're not lying down on the plate itself, but you know. Yeah, the display itself, well, as you can see, it didn't survive the extraction. <laughs> Got a little bit busted up. Whatever. This heavy thingy majiggy is actually welded, so that's not going to be easy to take apart. So, But that's half iron, half copper, so... Yeah, let's see what it weighs. That was the fun part of it. I need to see what it weighs. Ooh, apparently I'm in low power. Really? You pick now for all time to boom. I think it's one of those. Yeah, obviously. Uh -huh. <laughs> you. Come on. Huh. <laughs> you call the cord and it works. We. Yeah, okay, well, plastics department, let's just go like that. And the survey is in 1365 grams. Okay. I will read, view the video, and I'll calculate the total. Yay! Metal's flying all over the place. Metal department, 555 grams of pure metal. Well, I say pure, it's nearly pure. You know, there's always a little bit of something you can't really get rid of. And then I, it wasn't all. A couple of circuit boards, 
181. That's not the thing that weighs the most, that's for sure. <laughs> Aluminium. Aluminium doesn't even register. <laughs> Give it a one just because. Glass. Glass comes in at eight grams, nine grams, eight grams, whatever. Copper ball actually weighs four grams. Hmm. Okay. Stepping motor. 97 grams, and that stepping motor, uh, if the thingy would want to focus, eh? that's the word, focus, focus, focus on the thingy, there we go, stepper motor, SMS 40-4812-D, 3.3 volts, 10 ohm coil, and apparently they put a label on top of it. But it's a man in 40 something, and their own parts number MTS 4102A something. Uh, I'm guessing it says Fuji Electronical. Or something. Hmm. Whatever. Let's do the big coil thingy. Oh yeah. Three seven eight. Uh, I'm guessing most of it is do in the metal. Some wires. Sixty-seven grams. Not exactly scoring a lot on the scrap heap for that one. <laughs> and I did weigh in the paper as well, just because why the hell not? Eighty grams. Eighty grams of paper, really? Yep. It says to zero, so oh, here's the fun part: the screws and whatnot. I know there's a couple of pieces missing because something went it went straight by my face so <laughs> something's missing but <laughs> what it was I don't know I'm guessing it was a spring or something but bolts and other stuff down there is 48 grams and I didn't notice that there was a couple of um, actually I'd say these are brass probably but Oh well, it's in the small parts department. So anyway, that's what the... Uh, what the hell was it? <laughs> that's what the... Uh, this Casio CW16 looks like in pieces. So yeah. I don't know. I was bored. I had fun. Just went, eh, I'm gonna destroy something today. And I went, hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, let's do that one. Didn't work anyway, so, meh. I didn't figure out what what year it was from, actually, but I know it was bought in 98. But. Usually there's something where it says copyright isn't this year. I don't know, I'll 
have to go through it. Mm. And I'm running out of desk space. <laughs> <laughs> Danish um, proper can't see what the hell it says anyways. Funny thing though, usually they do a little uh, copyright this and this year, but apparently they didn't on this one. Hmm. Oh well. I'm sure if there's someone out there who knows what year they were made, they might co comment it on it. Oh well. Anywho. I am the sauce, you know, I'm the freak out here. Hope you had fun. I know I did. <laughs> Laters.